Most landlords, it's like 80-something percent of them are small mom-and-pop landlords, right? Toledo's no different. This house is no different. I'm shivering in me boots, boys. Yeah, I'm freezing. Yeah, you hear that? You hear that? I bet you're not cold. <clears throat> yeah, out here, this is a good one. For sure, dude. Whichever one of you guys said in this video, make sure you blur out that lovely lady's face. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise be giving it to you straight. You know what I love about real estate? You know what I like really, really, really love about it? It's an imperfect business, folks. It's an imperfect business. And where a business is imperfect, that allows investors like me, investors like you, to just like wedge ourselves right into the mistakes, right? Here you have something running optimally, and here you have somebody running something how they're running it, suboptimally. We squeeze ourselves right in there and get us from here to here, and that's how we can make a ton of money. And what I have for you is a prime example of that. Check out this deal, right? 724 Ashwood Ave, Toledo, Ohio. Now this, for all intents and purposes, is a turnkey single family house. Now, when I say turnkey, like I'm not saying it's the Taj Mahal or anything. Obviously, it's an older home, right? You talk housing stock, the housing stock in Toledo, we're talking like 100 year old properties, okay? The tenant base, we're talking lower income, right? So we're not renting people, uh, you know, fancy houses with 3,500 square feet for five grand a month here, right? This is lower income stuff, but. The price point, $39.9, okay? And why you can get it for so low is the current owner, the current seller, the mom and pop landlord, which is the majority of landlords in the United States of America, right? In Toledo, just like the rest of the country, most landlords, it's like 80-something percent of them are small mom-and-pop landlords, right? Toledo's no different. This house is no different. Small mom-and-pop landlord, you get a lot of accidental landlords, a lot of landlords that don't do this professionally, right? These are people who have day jobs, normal jobs, mechanics, policemen, firemen, nurses, right? Normal day jobs. That's how they make their living, and this is something they end up with accidentally or something they dip their toe in, they tried, didn't really work out for them or they found out it wasn't for them because managing rental properties is tough, right? So when you have 80% of the sellers of rental properties running their properties suboptimally, right? Not professionally managing them, there becomes a huge, huge amount of opportunity in this one, right? They're renting this property for $650 a month, $650 a month, okay? But guess what, folks? This house, this neighborhood in Toledo, you know what the market rent is? $1075. That's right. $1,075 a month is what we should be receiving in rent, right? So because a lot of these sellers, this one specifically, they don't keep up with the business. They don't keep their foot to the gas pedal. They don't professionally manage it, right? They're not Holton Wise. They haven't done over $200 million worth of transactions in Ohio, right? They're normal folks who have a normal job that is outside of the real estate industry. They don't realize how to achieve the profitable results, how to get their rent always up to market rate, right? We've had an explosion in rent rates over the last couple of years in Toledo, right? So 1075 is what we should be getting, y'all, but they're only getting 650, and that's what allows me to offer you the property for only 39.9. And as you can see, uh, the property's in very good condition, right? The tenant that uh, was there when we were filming, which obviously, guys, team, talking to my guys right now, Tommy, Tyler, Steve, Johnny, whichever one of you guys said in this video, make sure you blur out that lovely lady's face. Uh, we don't need to show her face or nothing, but this woman is taking great care of this property. She's a long-term tenant currently on month to month, right? It's one of those scenarios where she's been in there years. 
uh, just rolled over to month to month. And you're going to get that. Most uh, mom and pop landlords, they, they do like a 12 month lease at the beginning. Tenant goes, they run through their 12 month lease and then like, that's it. That's all that happens. They don't increase the rent. They don't renew the lease. That's what you see, right? So they put this tenant in years ago at 650, signed a 12-month lease, and then month 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, those months come and go, and the rent just keeps coming in, and they don't mess with it, right? And that's where it offers us the opportunity to jump in here, right? You have a lot of meat on the bone. You have a lot of room to increase that rent, but because it's not increased right now, because it's not a perfect business, you get the opportunity to pick it up for 39 Nine, you get a lender involved, you put down 10K, the lender puts down 30K, right? $10,000, you're able to get 1075 in rent, right? And you get a nice unit, uh, Toledo Law, Ohio Law, 30-day notice to increase rents. I probably would not go right from 650 to 1075 right away, though, uh, because you have a tried, true, and proven tenant here. Now, don't get me wrong, you're not buying a tenant. You're buying a rental property, so you got to focus on the market because a good tenant could be good, 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 good right up until they're not. Uh, but, you know, it's a numbers game. It's an odds game. I can't guarantee you she's going to be the perfect tenant for you, but she's proven to be a good tenant for this particular seller. Uh, so what I would probably do is try to increase that rent slowly uh, to get the tenant to stay as long as you can. Because, I mean, it's not often. If you guys are watching Holton Wise TV, uh, when I'm selling you guys Section A properties, lower income properties, properties like this in here in Toledo and all the other cash flow markets out there, it's not often you guys uh, see the video tour and I'm like, man, that tenant is really taking care of the inside of the house, right? Uh, a lot of times you're like, damn. It'd be great if they weren't so many fucking savages living in our properties right now. But that's part of the game when you're working in these low-income neighborhoods. Sometimes stuff gets rough. Uh, but here, doesn't appear to be the case. So my advice to you guys would be to get yourselves up to market rent. But do it over the course of like two or three years so you don't create an artificial turnover. Because when you're in lower-income neighborhoods, artificial turnovers, y'all, are the biggest killer to your returns. And what I'm here to do is help you guys make as much money as humanly possible, right? So if all that makes sense, if you're interested in buying this particular property, very simple process. All you have to do is send an email to my team, sales at holtonweiss.com. Include your proof of funds. If you want to pay cash or include your pre-approval letter, if you want to get a loan, you put down 10K, lender puts down 30K. If you don't have a lender, kick us an email, let me know you don't have a lender. My team will get you our list of lenders. Additionally, hold wise, we're here to take care of all your investment needs. So if you're local, you want to manage it yourself, that's great. We'll get you the property and we will help you get a rental property insurance policy. Uh, having done $200 million worth of transactions in Ohio, I can tell you, that I know the ins and outs of getting you guys the best policies. I only do uh, insurance on rental properties, so like I'm not going to insure your boat or your fucking brat nose kid's car. I'm not doing any of that crap. But rental properties, I kick it around. Other carriers get you guys great deals, so I'll hook you up with that. And if you're not local and you need property management, we'll even hook you up with some property management uh, referrals, some boots on the ground, stuff like that, so you can get this thing taken care of. Let's go. 724 Ashford or 724 Ashland. Ashwood. Ashwood. Uh, I cover my ears, it's getting cold. Boots, yeah, I'm freezing my fucking nerds off. <laughs> yeah, you off. hear that? You hear that? I bet you're not cold. We don't We don't want to assume that. You guys always call out specifically so much. Because, <laughs> I don't know. I don't better, know, it just he's feels been right. Around. He's, that's fair. It feels, it feels right. He's been around. If he can't take any shit, then he's got to quit. <laughs> okay, well. Too much shit or he's got to quit. Side and probably like right here. Yeah, you're good. So they're home, but they're just not cool with us. No, I think they're, they're, not, they're not home. They're not home. Okay. But we're in charge of locking up because uh, that other lady's leaving. 
nicest one. <clears throat> yeah, out here, this is a good one. For sure, dude. These people, check this out. They got a fucking industrial fryer. Oh, dude, holy shit, that's fucking sick. That's sick as fuck, that's cool as hell. All right, and then this thing of laundry was in front of that door. All right. And then we're good. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.